Hey guys, welcome back to Lessons with Miss Lewis. Today we are talking about who is in the legislative branch and what do they do? All right, so let's talk learning targets. I'm learning to determine the functions of the government. I know I have it when I can identify the duties of the legislative branch. All right, so now I want you to say it with me. I am learning to I am learning to determine the functions of the government. I know I have it when I can identify the duties of the legislative branch. All right, so let's look at our Victor vocab. This is the vocab that's going to make us victorious in our lesson today. All right, so we have laws. Laws are rules that the government sets for itself and its citizens. Consequences are something that happens because of an action. Consequences can be good and consequences can be bad. The legislative branch makes the laws. I know one of our essential questions today is what does the legislative branch do? So we know that they make the laws, right? First, they write them. And when they first write them, it's called a bill. And then when they pass them, it officially becomes a law. So you can think of bills as baby laws. They're not ready yet, but when the legislative branch passes them, they become full grown laws. If citizens or other members of government want to create a law, they have to talk with the legislative branch first. They can't do it without them. Do you know of any laws? Can you think about why we have laws at all? Think about that question today while you're thinking about this lesson and maybe talk about it with people at home later and see if you can come up with a good answer. Do you know what, law, what happens when laws are not followed? Well, the legislative branch just makes the laws. Another branch handles the consequences when laws are not followed. Let's talk about who is in the legislative branch. The legislative branch is made up of the United States Congress, but Congress has two parts. Congress is the House of Representatives and the Senate. So one part is the House of Representatives and another part is the Senate, and they come together to make Congress. All right, your secret word for today is branch. Don't forget to enter that in your Google Classroom. All right, so while we're here, we are going to go ahead and fill in a little bit more information on our three branches organizer. So today we learned about the legislative branch. So let's write down what we know about them so far. So think of what are the duties of the legislative branch. We know that they make laws. So what, they, what we need to write down is the information that we learned earlier, which is Congress, sorry, which is that um, the legislative branch writes bills and passes laws. And we also need to write down who is in the legislative branch. So we know that the legislative branch is made up of Congress. But we know that Congress has how many parts? That's right, Congress has two parts. So we're gonna draw just like we saw earlier, two parts. One we know is the House of Representatives. I'm running out of room here just a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm gonna draw a little house to help me remember. All right, and the other part is who? That's right, the Senate. All right. So now we have one third of our organizer filled out. Right. See you next time.